Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here on this beautiful, the sun's trying to shine. Uh, it's, it's a little cloudy. <laughs> I hope it doesn't rain, but I'm out here, and look, y'all, I'm using my cup, and I'm going to use a different one uh, every time I come out here because people sending me cups. And I want to use them. And this one is a thermos. It's you uh you put it in here and <laughs> the lady was afraid the birds flying over might drop something in my cup. <laughs> and I was worried about that myself because sometimes they they fly all over here, especially when I'm not here. Right, right here, when I leave and walk somewhere, they'll come all, all over here where I'm at, but they won't do it when I'm sitting here. But uh, this will keep my coffee warm, and it will keep the birds from uh, dropping su a surprise in my cup. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for being so thoughtful and kind. And y'all, I'm I, I'm going to start a new project today. I'm thinking about uh, trying something new. And how do y'all like my flowers? Aren't they beautiful? That's hibiscus over there, and they're blooming. And it's I just love them. But you know what? My birds are mad with me. <laughs> the other day, a few days ago, it rained and it rained and it rained. All their feeders was full of water. They couldn't eat. They don't like it when they there's water in there and and it was, it just rained and like every day and and my birds would come up and they'd look in there and they'd look the head down and they wouldn't they was all ruffled up they didn't like that and it got okay and it quit raining and i cleaned out my feeders and and put some new seeds and they have got mad i guess and and they haven't come around that much I think they're still mad with me. I think they think I've done something to them, but I <laughs> I can't help it when they uh when they won't when their water is their feeders have water in it. I I come out and empty it, but they 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 uh they would stand in it and they would look around. <laughs> they did they just didn't know what to think. Anyway, I was sitting in my house yesterday. And I had a little bowl of seeds up there that I took them out. They were wet a little bit, and I put them up there on the porch. And there was birds coming up there on my porch eating. And a dove came, flew up there on my front porch right in front of my door. I'm so, they, they're amazing. They, they do strange things you cannot predict, like, I've got seeds out here now. And you see any birds? No. <laughs> I don't know where they are. But it's it's mating season and uh they they're building nests and doing all this stuff and it changes their routine, I guess, you know. Let me have a sip of coffee. That does keep your coffee w warmer because it usually will get cold pretty fast when you're sitting out here. When you're sitting out here. Oh, okay. Today, if it doesn't rain, I am thinking about something. <laughs> That's that's a dangerous thing. <laughs> a while back, I went to 
a dollar store. And I bought this balloon. And I'm going to blow it up <laughs> if I can. It's, a, it's pretty big. And I'm going to... Let me see if I can blow it up. I'm going to make a flower pot. I'm going to blow it up and put it uh, like this. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some draped stuff over it. And I have it in my mind, but oh, there's a little bird just flew right there. I have it in my mind what I'm thinking about doing, but it might not turn out the way I'm thinking. But let me let me see if I can blow it up. That's a big old balloon. <laughs> okay, let me try. Let me get a sip of coffee before I do that. Everything is so pretty, and it's cloudy, and I hope, I hope I can get this stuff draped on here, and I can put it around there and let it dry. Okay, let me see if I can blow this. This is a giant balloon. Y'all see it? Okay, it's a beach ball is what it really is. I, I tried some balloons, but I thought I'd try this this time, because I... I want to see, I want to kind of, I, we're going to see how it looks when I get through. Oh, Lord, where is the, I think it stopped up. You may have to hold up. Oh, my goodness, I might, I never get this thing. I don't think I can get this thing blowed up. I just don't don't feel like the air is going in it right. Take me a while to do this. Let me have a sip of coffee. <laughs> Let y'all see that pretty bird on that cup while I'm blowing. Maybe it won't be much longer.
Oh, yeah, look! <laughs> I got it! Started. It's about done. Okay, look at there. <laughs> I got it. Isn't that beautiful? Let me have another sip of coffee. That took a lot of air. <laughs> Good gracious. But it's so pretty. Okay, I really can't uh, explain how I'm going. I'm going to put it like this, and I'm going to drape it. And I'm going to make a flower pot. Y'all will just have to see how what I'm doing as I go with me. Because I don't know either. <laughs> I'm just out here trying some things that I think might look good and that y'all might like. And this is a pretty balloon. Even if it doesn't work, it's a beautiful balloon. And I'm going, uh, what, what I'm, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to mix my cement up, and this, I'm not going to use sand in this mix. This is going to be a draped. I'm going to put cement and water in a, uh, little pan, and I'm going to dip the cloth in there and put it on here and then when it dries I'm going to take this out and lift this out of the mold that it's made if that works <laughs> I think this bird back here is having a distress Sounds like he's mad about something. <laughs> oh, there's birds everywhere flying uh, uh, around, but they're not here. There's one little bird just flew back there, but the blue birds and the red birds and all the other birds are somewhere uh, doing something. I don't know. Anyway, and my doves, they, they... They don't like to come around when I'm doing this either. Okay. I'm going to... I hope every... Are y'all... I'm about to forget about my coffee. I'm so... My mind is so set on what I'm going to do with this and how I was going to get the air in it. But I made it. I, I put every bit of that air in there, so... I guess my lungs must be pretty good <laughs> to be 81 years old. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be, uh, y'all, uh, y'all have coffee with me, please, and enjoy, uh, or tea, or, or whatever you like to drink, cho hot chocolate, or, uh, Pepsi Cola, or Coca Cola, or whatever. Whatever y'all like to drink, I hope y'all are enjoying uh, watching my video and having a, a, a fellowship time together because I feel like y'all are my family and people tell me they feel like I'm part of their family. So 
You know, is that not awesome to be a little a person in a little town? Never hardly been out of Georgia. <laughs> and I have met so many people from all walks of life and all over out of this country and other countries that watch my videos that is so amazing to me that people are watching my videos and I have 66,000 subscribers as of right now but maybe I think maybe this weekend it'll be 67 and I am so blessed and so pleased with all everyone that subscribes and shares and clicks the little bell and everything thumbs up and all that you do to watch uh, my videos just it's awesome and Cody he's at work and I hope it doesn't rain but I I think while I'm while I'm for a few minutes I think I'm going I showed y'all last fall I have a little cane patch back there and I bedded it you have to cut the cane down and put it in a hole you have to dig a hole and you have to put your cat well I put straw down then I put my cane on top of the straw and then I put straw over the cane again and then I put, put a dirt back over it and you put something over it like just to keep it just kind of keep the uh, light out and everything you know just keep it moist and damp down there it keeps your cane alive till next year because cane is something that doesn't have seeds not little seeds that you plant you have to have a stalk of cane like that I'm going to show you when I go around there and dig it up I'm going to show you how how you dig it up and get it out of the bedding uh, that I put it in to save it from the cold because it will freeze and it will die and I'm going to uh, dig it up and I'm going to plant it back and show y'all how to do that. Uh, some people might not care about that, but some people are interested in uh, nature and planting and all this stuff that I love. I love it. I, I, I grew up on a farm. I was small, but I remember all the things that was there my daddy and my mama picked cotton out of the field they grew uh, corn they planted the garden my daddy planted cane and that's how i found out about all this stuff is i i was raised on a farm and and my daddy done all that stuff he fished and i love to fish one day i may go fishing and show y'all how I catch fish. And I can catch fish too. <laughs> I really can. I don't get to go because, you know, I, uh, I uh, well, when Cody might can take me whenever he gets some time off. But since he's working and everything, it's just uh, a lot to, uh, for him to do is to have time for everything he does and everything and the things that I need him to maybe help me do. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to do that uh, this summer. I'm going to take y'all on a fishing trip with me. <laughs> and I'm going to catch some fish, I hope. So let me get around here and start on this. I get off on all kind of stuff and y'all don't probably know what's going on, but Anyway, I'll show you. If y'all just keep watching, I'll show you what I'm doing. <laughs> so, I'm going to go around here now and dig this uh, cane up. 
if I can find it, it's covered over and I got to find where I put it. <laughs> it's around there. I know I know about where it's at, but, but I got to get around there and do it. So I'll uh, be right back. Don't go away. And y'all, y'all be a blessing. I want to be a blessing to people and I want to bless people like they bless me. That that calls for if, if somebody blesses you then you bless them and that's how the Lord wants us to uh, act and, and be a be a blessing and be a light to others and and let them see that uh, who you serve an awesome awesome God thank you Lord and I'll be right back when I get around there <laughs> I hope the air don't go out of this balloon while I'm around there doing that. Maybe it won't. Okay, everybody, <laughs> this is where my cane is planted. I'm going to try to find it where I put it. Uh, I've got all my stuff that I'm going to use. Let me see if I can... Okay, I put, I put this tire in here. Kind of old growth has come up. Oh, there's a piece of cane. Oh, let me show you. I need to have got out here probably earlier. See it? I'm gonna have 
have to be careful uh, getting it up because it's already got sprouts on it. I think this is not the one that I fed it. I think this I think this is where my cane is buried right bedded right down here. I put this old piece of carpet down here to help keep it moisten and keep it Doesn't look that great right this minute. It has been so wet. I hope it's okay.
it looks like something has eaten it. Y'all, this is, something looks like has eat down in there, but there's a little piece right there that's alive. I'm just going to put it back here, maybe some, if there's any down there, will come out. This was not the way it was supposed to turn out. At all. I think it has been so wet, but looks it looks like something has been Well, that's life. Everything doesn't turn out the way you plan. You just have to not give up. You just have to keep on trying.
here's some. Hopefully. I'll have enough from what is here. We have some for next year. There's some there. we can do now is wait and see if we have any cane come up. This was not supposed to be this way. It was supposed to come out big long stalks but it didn't. Something uh, under the ground got it down there, and I think got in there and eat some of it. But y'all, this is my this is my little tub gardens that's squash and this is squash 
This is squash in this tub. And this is some potatoes. that I planted. They're coming up. So I got stuff growing. Anyway, we'll see how the cane turns out. I'm finished with my cane. Wasn't what I was planning. Uh, something happened to the cane. I don't know if some something underground has eat almost all of it. But they didn't eat the knots like the place where the little sprouts come out. They didn't eat that. But some may come up. I hopefully, I'll have a little bit of cane. So, thank y'all so much for watching. I am <laughs> hot. <laughs> I've been chopping and doing all that stuff. Anyway, thank y'all so much. And and I'm going to go in and cool off just a little, and then I'm going to come back out and do my part. Thank y'all so much for watching my videos. They don't always turn out the way you think. So that's life. So I know what I know how life is. Unpredictable. <laughs> but the Lord is always with us, and he'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's what I live by. Thank the Lord. See you in a little bit. Okay, <laughs> I'm back out here. I came out here a little earlier and I got my things out and was gonna start. Well, it started raining, then it quit. So I don't know where to start or, or not. But I've already got my things together. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can start this project. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I've cut this, I put this ball in this bowl, and I'm going to put some sand in it. Sweet, sweet lady brought me some sand. And I'm gonna put some of it in here. I think that's enough. Oh, that's pretty sand. That's not <laughs> that's not my Georgia sand right there. Uh okay. I'm going. This is the part. It's going to be down in there. Okay, I've got that. Now I'm going, I'm going to move this for a minute. This is what I'm going to uh, drape over this. It's got raindrops already on it where it started raining. So I, I jerked it up and carried it over there and put it away.
what I'm going to do is, sun's coming out, just wonderful. <laughs> uh, I'm going to set this here. I'm trying to think this out. I'm going to cut this around This is six cups of cement. I'm going to put water in it. I've, I've measured it, so I'm just not showing y'all how I measured it and all that. I'm just going to put the water in it now. Let me move my camera up closer. Okay. This is six cups of just cement, no sand in it, just cement. I'm going to put some of this uh, it's a uh, cement bonding adhesive acrylic fortifier. You pour it in cement, it makes it stronger and stiffer, they say. I'm going to uh, put some in this because I want it stiff as I can get it. Okay, I think that'll be enough. Zoom back out now because I threw it. Uh, Y'all, I'm just uh, trying to figure it out as I go. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure it out as I go. This is this is the cloth that I'm going to dip in this cement right here. in here see if I can get it soaked
I've, I've uh, got it saturated, I guess. Gonna cut this little part here off because I don't like it. It's, it's a seam and I I don't want it uh, showing. Uh, I'm gonna put it maybe somewhere else. I don't know yet. <laughs> I may change this, I don't know. I, I'm just trying some things that uh that I want to try. Okay, this camera cut off again, and y'all, I went and bought another, I went and bought another uh, memory card, and I thought maybe that would work, but it didn't. So, I don't really know what to do. Now, uh, I thought maybe that could be it. But it wasn't. But I think that's going to be beautiful. I think it is. But, which I, I do think a lot of things is beautiful that may not be beautiful to everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm going to sort of let this dry now. And I'm going to put a rock up here. I've got a big round rock somewhere. I don't know where it is right this minute. 
I'll find one because I know I have one. I've got all kinds of things. Here's a piece of cement. I'll put it up here to hold that down where it won't That's going to be beautiful. Okay. I'm going to stop it. it. All the clouds have gone, gone on by. It rained for just a few minutes. And then it stopped. So I came back out here to finish up this part of this project that I'm doing and I think it's gonna be beautiful beautiful so see y'all when this dries probably a day or two before this dries good so I'm gonna I'm gonna rest a while now <laughs> I've had a kind of a hard day uh, but I enjoy doing this but I, I'm sort of uh, I'm going to uh, go in there and sit down and and rest and uh, wait for this to dry so I can come back out and show y'all and finish it up and I know it's going to be beautiful y'all have a blessed blessed day subscribe and share and uh click the little bell and the thumbs up and everything so <laughs> that's what they say anyway anyway thank y'all and i think this is beautiful we're gonna see how how beautiful it is when it dries see y'all see y'all in a day or so good morning <laughs> everyone it is, the sun is shining, but it is kind of cold. We had some storms uh, around Georgia and around in other areas yesterday, but we didn't have it. I don't know how that happened. We didn't have any storms here. It rained just a little bit and not much of that, but anyway. We're here and we're safe, but the wind is blowing. I hope that the wind doesn't make up, oh, make my sound bad. And I want to show y'all my coffee cup. I'm using my my Red Bird coffee cup. This is the other Red Bird coffee cup that I have. So I'm going to use both of them. I'm going to let y'all see that I'm using my Red Bird coffee cup. And it's like it's 45 degrees and that's a little chilly that side of and the wind is blowing maybe it'll blow some pollen away <laughs> but anyway i'm out here this morning on this beautiful day it's beautiful if it's not raining and bad things are happening so it's a beautiful day even though it's a little chilly and it's uh some people had some uh, devastating storms tore their homes apart. I, I saw that on TV this morning that some people were just totally destroyed their homes. But I pray for those people that uh, lost their homes. But I'm so thankful that the Lord spared me <laughs> and didn't uh, see fit for it to come through here. So. I'm going to take this, this is my draped pot that I made the other day, and it's been drying around there, and I'm going to take it out of the mold now, and see how it looks, you know, you remember, I blowed this big balloon up, and I put this cloth over it, dipped in cement, and not too loud the wind chimes when it when it when the wind blows it sort of 
uh, makes them ring loud, and some people doesn't like that, but I'm sorry. If they get too loud, I'll tie them up. Okay, y'all want to get started and take this apart and see what it, how it looks and what I'm going to, I'm going to paint it or something. I'm going to decorate it. And let's, let's get started on doing that and see how, see what, <laughs> what's up under there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm anxious to see myself what, what, how it turned out because I've never done that before and I've never seen this complete, uh, this thing here done just like this before so we're gonna see how it looks and I think I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit to get the full effects of what's happening if I can okay, I'm gonna take this thing that I had holding it down move my cup. I might need a little more room here, but I think it'll be okay. Let me have another sip of coffee. <laughs> are y'all having coffee this morning? I hope y'all are having coffee with me and my red birds and all my birds and all my beautiful things that I have out here. Everything is so green and pretty. And it's early in the morning and the sun's coming up and it'll be right here for long so I'm going to hurry up and get this off and let y'all see it. Let me set my cup over here. Okay, now I'm going to take it out. Try to. Let's see what I've got to do. I don't really know. Oh, I think, I think this is what you do. Take it off of that. Oh, my goodness. This is when you need some help. You don't have it. Let's see. Now I'm going to take it. I guess I'm going to take it loose. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, let's see. If I turn it over, it's got sand in it. I'm going to try to take it out. Got it out. There's the pan with the sand in it. Oh, precious. <laughs> Where there's a wheel, there's a way, I say. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think that's pretty. Look. And look, y'all. <laughs> The balloon is still in it. I got to take it out and see what what it see what happens then. I gotta let I don't even know if I got to let the air out, but I may have to, I don't know. Yeah, I think I got to let the air out. Because it's kinda if I can. Had a time getting the air in it. Oh, I'm getting it out without letting the air out. Oh, y'all see? There's my balloon. 
It's not hurt, really. Okay. This is the inside of it. Oh, can y'all see it? This is the inside. Y'all may not be able to see it. I don't know, but it's so pretty. Oh, and it worked. Oh, I'm so proud. Now, y'all, <laughs> I'm going to paint it. If the wind doesn't blow all the paint away. That is awesome. My balloon is about to blow away. And you remember I put I put this thing on the bottom to where it would uh, have a base. And it worked. It's awesome. Oh, that is awesome. Not awesome, y'all. <laughs> it's so pretty. And I still got my pretty sand that was in my bowl. It was great. Okay. I'm going to go in there now and get my paint out. I don't know if spray paint is going to work because this wind is blowing. I'm going to go in here and get some paint and see what I decide. I'll be right back. Don't go away. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm out here trying to decide what to do, how to paint this flower pot. <laughs> That's... And it's light as a feather. It's not heavy. I'm so pleased. It's it's awesome. It's not, you know, real heavy like cement is, but uh I'm I'm thinking about paint with a brush because the wind is blowing and the spray paint will blow away <laughs> all over everything. So I'm trying to decide what to do and what color and all that so I'm going to be just be experimenting a little bit y'all I'm thinking about using these uh, Waverly super pigment uh, paint it's it's this kind right here, if you can see it. And this is the color of this one. Uh, and I may use another color. I, I sort of have it in my mind what I might want to use. But not totally. start out with this and see because you can always change it if you don't like it oh let me put my paint up here so you can see it a little I guess you can let me turn the camera just a little bit where you can okay I think I'm going to start with this real dark. This is a, a large pot. It's like, it's pretty big.
Y'all, this is just experiment. <laughs> I hope everyone's weekend was great. I went to church and we had homecoming at our church and we had dinner afterwards. I took chicken and dumplings. <laughs> Old faithful. Uh, people love chicken and dumplings. That's what I took with my church dinner. storm missed us uh, we was I was trying to hurry to get my food in the church because I didn't want to be carrying my chicken and dumplings in there and it be storming and get wet and I got up there plenty of time to take it in and took it in and went went back in the church and we had our service and then after church we went out to eat have our dinner and it still had hadn't rained and stormed like we thought it was and we I I got finished and I decided to come on home before it got, you know, real bad. So I came home and it didn't never get bad. It was a little windy, but it wasn't bad. And I was expecting uh, <laughs> something, you know, they was talking about it was going to be some real bad, and it was. It was real bad weather in some areas. Uh, it was it was some storms that tore some people's homes up. But it fortunately it didn't uh, it didn't do it here in. So I was thankful that, that it missed us. I hated that it uh, hit some areas, but uh, you know, you have to take what, what you get. <laughs> you hate for anyone to be uh, destroyed, their home and all, but sometimes, and I've been very fortunate about uh, that kind of thing but cause a storm did come and it it didn't do anything to my home but right down there in my woods where I walk it knocked trees down and it really devastated my woods me and Cody went down and cut and tried to get it fixed where we could go through there where I could go through there to the mailbox because I walk there every day to the mailbox. I have a post office box too. I, I, I have that. I have both of them. See how that looks so far.
Oh, and I, I watched uh, the golf tournament in Augusta, which is, oh, uh, I don't know how many miles it is from here. It's like a hundred miles, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I'm not good on directions, <laughs> but. It didn't even ever uh, hurt there. Uh, it didn't stop the golf tournament or anything. And Tiger Woods won again. You know, I used to play golf. I was the ladies champion at our golf course here uh, one time. <laughs> I was so thrilled. But I don't have anyone to play with now, so I don't try to play. I could still hit the ball, I think, but I haven't done it lately. But I'm doing crafts now, and I'm enjoying doing that. y'all can see it and I hope it's still going All the birds still are kind of picky about coming up. I don't know why, but they, well, I do know why. I know they are nesting. That's why. Nature has its own way of doing things. And that's okay because that's, that's life, I mean, that's how life is, you, you're not always going to have always good things, you're going to have good and bad, so you just take what you have and be thankful that you have it, and that you're still here to enjoy it, that's what I do, I enjoy it, and I'm proud to be here, and I'm so thankful for all my viewers and my subscribers that I have that watch my videos I, it is such a blessing I have never <laughs> never dreamed this would could happen to me but it certainly has and I'm so blessed and thankful for each and every one it's like my family I, you know I've talked to people like not in person or anything but I have spoken to people, sent me messages and from all over, and I, I found out things I never dreamed about even existing. I didn't know that it was fall of the wet year in some areas of the country, of the world, or <laughs> whatever it is. I don't even know. Oh, that's so pretty. Let me put a little more dark. Oh, I'm gonna have to get me some more of this paint because I'm this is about all I got. I didn't know it was about out.
This is good and thick paint. I may paint the inside because That's faster than trying to do this. A little blue and white now on it. Just, just experimenting. Y'all, if, 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 if y'all are able and you can get out and do, do uh, some crafts and stuff, it is so much fun to get out and try to create something maybe that uh, nobody, no one else has created. You know, it's fun to get out there and try to enjoy yourself trying to make something that's beautiful and useful and easy. <laughs> this is easy. Uh, There's different ways of doing everything. You just try to find a way that suits you. That
Okay, y'all. <laughs> y'all guessed it. My camera cut off. Again. <laughs> I just gotta live with it, I guess. But, uh... Let me have a sip of coffee. I, was, I think I was telling y'all... The Lord will not leave you alone. He will be with you. He'll help you along the way. He doesn't want you to depend on Him for everything. But He will help you along as you help yourself. And I try to do that. I try to... Uh, oh, a red bird just flew over there. Uh... Just try to make the best of your life that you can. Everyone's not going to be, uh, completely happy with their situation, but, uh, the Lord will help you with it if you help yourself. So, thank the Lord we have Him to assure us that we're never alone. We're always, uh, we, He has our best interest. He didn't say it was going to all be easy. And it certainly isn't. But the good thing about it is he never leaves us nor forsakes us. So just always keep that in your mind that you, you have someone with you that will not leave you or forsake you. That will be there for you along your way of hardships or whatever you have it. And we don't all have hardships. <laughs> yes, we are. But we make it through with the Lord's help and the assurance that He gives us that He will never leave us or forsake us. That's so awesome to know. You wish other people would know that and would realize that uh, that is an option that we have if we choose that. Okay. I don't... I'm going to uh, spray the inside of this pot with this uh, spray paint right here. Rust-Oleum is uh, I, I buy it from our wall store. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to say all that or not. I'm, someone has told me that you there's things that you don't need to say. I, I don't really know what all that is. And, uh, let me put my mask on and spray a little bit in here so I, while the wind's not blowing so bad. Let me put my mask on. That's enough. I 
think it's just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to sit here and let it dry in the, uh, the breeze will dry it, I hope. <laughs> I hope it looks pretty in the picture as it does right here. And I'm going to let y'all see the inside of it. I'm going to let it dry now for a little bit and uh, walk out here in the sun. <laughs> it's a little chilly. And my birds are happy. And that's awesome. No clouds in the sky today. It's just all blue. How awesome. The Lord makes such beauty that people, people can't explain and there's no way to explain. The Lord just makes awesome things for us to enjoy. So I'm going to enjoy them all, all I can. <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all do too. Let me have another sip of coffee with my new coffee cup. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let let the breeze uh, dry for right now, and I'll be back in a little bit to finish up my video so y'all can see it. <laughs> Won't that be fun? Y'all don't go away. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. <laughs> How about this? This is my pot and it's dry and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'll show y'all all the way around it. And then I'll show y'all inside of it. Is that not beautiful? It's just awesome. I think it is anyway, which I always do. But anyway, is that not beautiful? And it's not heavy. It's real light. It's easy to pick up and I think this is a good project for people that doesn't want to pick up to make a heavy object, you know, that you have to lift hard. But this is this is not heavy at all. And put it there. Anyway. This is not heavy, it's light and it's beautiful. And it's easy to make. All you gotta do, I think, the hard, the hardest part <laughs> might be blowing up the balloon. <laughs> but that wasn't stupid. Oh my goodness, my chair is about to fall. Anyway, uh, this is my finished project, and this is my uh, bird cup that I'm using. I wanted to show everybody my pot and my cup that I've used for uh, to drink my coffee this morning. So, thank you. I want to thank y'all so much for watching my videos and subscribing and sharing and loving my work. I, I'm so blessed and so honored to have people that care about my videos like they do. I'm so thankful. Thank y'all so much. And uh, keep watching. Maybe I'll make something that y'all will like sometimes. <laughs> so, be a blessing to someone each day. And bless, bless others. Everyone needs a blessing. And it would be so nice if we would bless each other 
and let everybody know that we care and we love them and they, they all appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. See y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. Y'all y'all don't go too far away. Just wait. I'll make another one pretty soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, I was going to show y'all the inside of my pot. Let me see if I can get up here and do it. Let me take my camera loose. Okay, now I've got my camera loose. This, oh my, let me see if I can zoom out. Turned out awesome.